1937, the Duke of Windsor actually visited Hitler's base camp and met with Hitler. Hitler even bribed him to get himself a house in Spain and said, as long as I conquer Britain, I will make you the king, and promised him many benefits. The Duke of Windsor not only supported Nazis, but watched and waited and even encouraged Hitler to kill the British people. Today, the CCP has several Dukes of Windsor in the United States, Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom, Japan, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. All the things that have happened in the United States recently are due to the fact that the CCP has many Duke of Windsor in the United States. They even have several backups, as well as many Mrs. Simpson in the United States. Two days ago, I said to a NATO general, you have to remember what I said today. There are a lot of Mrs. Simpsons in NATO and in the European Parliament. He said, I absolutely believe it. Remember I said that the European Parliament would begin to impose sanctions on the CCP in June and July of 2020. Originally, they were going to take action to Hong Kong, but they were blocked by many Mrs. Simpsons and the Duke of Windsor in the European Parliament. In November 2020, I said that Europe and NATO would take major actions, but their actions were canceled by the European Economic Security Committee within NATO. In addition, the PCE and PC organizations in Europe blocked many sanctions against the CCP. Not until this point today, Europe and the United States have taken action. In fact, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo went to Europe for the joint sanctions on the CCP. At that time, if Europe did not refuse to define the CCP as genocide and criminal organization against humanity, all this sanction would have started, including a series of sanctions to Hong Kong from Europe, including ending all preferential treatment for Hong Kong and equating Hong Kong with the province of China and not allowing the Hong Kong dollar to be pegged to the U.S. dollar, then the Hong Kong dollar will no longer be recognized in the world, and Hong Kong officials should be wanted worldwide.